In this tutorial, we are going to create a custom shelf in Maya. Now, the reason you want to use a shelf is to speed up your work process by storing the tools you use most often uh, into this place above the, the viewport that is going to be pretty uh, handy for you to just click. You, you have a lot of uh, shelves created by default in Maya for different, you know, rendering animation, rigging, sculpting. And those contain the most used things that you're pr probably generally going to use the most. But let's say that uh, you don't want to click through all these when you change the things that you're working on in the, at, the, at any given moment. So you just want to create your own shelf with tools you want to use the most. So the way we are going to do that is by clicking on Windows, Settings and Preferences, and Shelf Editor. Here uh, you can, if you want to add it to the end of the line, for example, you can either press the last shelf and click this plus button so it gets added uh, to the end automatically or you can simply add it wherever and then by clicking these uh, these two buttons here move it as you can see uh, move it to the front or the back so let's f for example say that we want our shelf to be the last one and we are going to call it a test shelf now just click save all shelves now you have your own custom shelf added to the top of the view viewport. Now we can start adding the tools we use the most. So let's say for example we want to create a bottle and that's my uh, advice to you. Uh, start creating something and then when you see the tools that you're going to use the most just add those tools to the shelf. Don't just add the tools without knowing in advance what you're going to use or not because you're going to end up having a cluttered shelf with many tools that you'll never use. So let's go to create polygon primitives and we want to start, start from a cylinder. To add a cylinder to our shelf press Control, Shift and middle click at the same time so you can see it got added to the shelf. Now we just press it in the shelf and it's going to uh, appear in the viewport as if you just clicked a cylinder in the create polygon primitives. You can do that for all other primitives that you generally use. So that's, uh, that's the main way you're going to be populating your shelf. So now what we want to do is we want to keep creating our bottle. And now the next thing that I notice is that I need an extrude. Uh, I advise you to put extrude into a hotkey because it's a very, very often used tool. But you can also add it to the shelf in the same way we added the primitives. So you go to edit mesh hover over extrude, control shift middle click and the extrude tool got added to our newly created shelf. Okay, so let's extrude. So once you click it, it uh, shows you the regular options that that might would show you as if you clicked it through the through the the menus. Okay, you can press G to use the previously used tool. That's a pretty convenient thing. Let's say I want to add a bevel here. I would go to Edit Mesh. It already is hotkeyed, but let me put it again to the shelf. Control Shift Middle Click, and the bevel gets added to the shelf. So now I just double click our edge bevel, and again I can use it as if I clicked it through the menus. Okay, so once you've spent some time creating uh, stuff in Maya, you're going to be populating your shelf with a lot of tools and uh, 
this is for example my shelf that I'm using in like these tools are around 95% of everything I do in Maya also some of the tools are um, hotkeyed so the tools you're going to use the most uh, should be hotkeyed and that's my advice so yeah that's about it once you save and exit Maya it's going to be uh, saved as you left it that's it that's it for this tutorial have a nice day